This week on The Irish Gardener, how to control mildew and black spot on your roses. It can't be summer in the garden without a beautiful display of roses. But what if your plants have succumbed and if they look a bit more like this than this? This guy here is suffering quite badly from leaf black spot, whilst this guy has a lot of powdery mildew on it. Now with black spot, the infection starts off with the telltale signs of the little black spots at the underside of the leaves. Now these develop into a more widespread and ugly discoloration. The plant will lose overall vigour and eventually the leaves will go sickly yellow and fall off. Whilst the powdery mildew is equally as obvious if you like and as easy to diagnose, all the leaves and very commonly even the flowers will get covered in this dirty grey white mouldy looking powder. Now, how do you treat it? Well, at the first sign of infection, what you do is quite simply remove it with a clean secateurs. Now, it's important to keep the secateurs clean when you're traveling between an infected plant and a healthy plant, obviously enough so you don't transfer the infection from one to the other. I would remove, in something like this where there's quite a heavy infestation, I would remove all the infected growth. Don't worry about the fact that uh, the, rose, the, the books will tell you not to cut back the roses during the summer. Don't worry a bit about that. Roses are far tougher and more resilient than people give them credit for. These will come back and I guarantee you, and I'll put a photograph up, I guarantee you these will be in flower again in just a few short weeks. I'll cut the, the, this one back in a while, that's the one with powdery mildew, but again I'll just remove all the infected growth and once you have that done, you can treat them in one of two ways. By either making a solution of milk and water, using one part milk to two parts water, simply spray the entire bush. Do this weekly during the growing season. Alternatively, if you wanted to, you could use something like the copper sulphate. Now this is a broad spectrum organic fungicide. Make a solution again with water and spray it on. Now it is organic as I say, but don't use it too freely. Only about once a year is when I would use that and that will control a broad range of fungal infections. The third piece of the jigsaw then is to keep your rose bushes healthy. Use a good quality organic plant food because roses are quite hungry feeders. Something like this Nature Safe, this is a liquid form, it's also available as a granule, you can just throw it around the base. That's a very good plant food to ensure that your roses stay in great nick for the rest of the season. As with most problems in the garden, it's easier to prevent the plants getting the infection in the first place than it is to control it when they get it. Remembering that their fungal problems is key to good plant maintenance. So when you're pruning them during the winter, remember that you want to keep a good open bush, a good open centre. If you have too many uh, crossing branches and congested leaf, lots and lots of leaf growth in the centre of the bush, that leads to very poor air circulation, which of course is the ideal conditions for the development of such fungal problems. Also, about once a year, at the time of bud burst, which is when, when, when the new growth, the new leaves are emerging from the dormant stems after the long winter, it might be March, it might be April, depending on the season, keep an eye on the temperatures, but at that magical time of bud burst, that's when you should spray it with your solution of copper sulphate and water to prevent the roses getting sick in the first place and feed them from then on. And you'll have fabulous roses, I promise you, all season long.